This is a work of art. Good morning, fam. How are you? Welcome to Passionately Intrigued Arts, and this is Tracy. Uh, I need to put the hardware on the back of this. It's a 24 by 30 canvas. Biggest one I've ever attempted to do something with. And I have finished it. It is called Soft Storms. So I need to put the backing on it so that I can complete it. And last night I just trimmed around the edges with white paint just to get it all cleaned up. So what I usually do is take the hanging wire, go across and see how much it takes for to come all the way across, and then I give it uh, like one and a half. So that much, which is 30 inches, and then I'll give it about, not quite half, not quite 15 inches, about 12 inches more should be good. Clip it with my wire cutters. Oh, I did that wrong. All right, let's start again. All right, 30 inches. I'll use that for a smaller picture. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking. And then let me give it, I can unwrap this. I've got more wire too. I just ordered some from Amazon. Give it a little bit more and cut it at the right end. So I'll cut it about here and that should be plenty. Yes, that's plenty. Then this is 24 inches this way. So I'll measure down maybe about six inches. Yeah, five or six inches, seven inches, not halfway. I think I'll go with Oh, about right here should be good. So, or even five. I'll do five inches. And this is a erasable marker, whatever you call it, a dry erase, but it doesn't matter. It's going to be covered with the hardware. So I'm going to come down on this side, and then I'll come in. This piece of wood is three quarters inch, and I'll come in halfway. So let me come down five inches. And just put a little dot right there and then I'll go to the other side and do the same thing at five inches and this is one of the canvases that I got um, out in Ann Arbor at a five below that I visited for the first time and I saw these I was trying to get some sublimation jogging suits and uh, had my basket full of a few sets of those, three or four sets, and I saw these canvases and I put everything back and bought every canvas that they had. Okay, then I'll take these, I don't know what they're called, these little hangers that you put the wire in, and I have a, a hand screwdriver, hand drill, I don't know what it's called, and I'll, I'll get the hole started with this. So I'll just go to where I've marked it. And this little tool, you just twist it and it'll get the hole started for me to make it easier to put those little screws in. Rather than bringing out my drill for this. So I'll just get it started over here and the same for the other side. I just don't feel the need to bring out the drill for, for these frames, canvases. So I'll get that started and then I'll take this little piece, no I won't, they have, uh, oh what are these things called, these little bitty things and I should know that before I got started, I do crimps, I think they're called crimps. So I put the crimp 
on the wire. I actually put both of them on. So that they're already on there. Then I'll tape the little screw and put this piece of hardware on each side with my little handy dandy three screwdriver from Lowe's for my birthday. So I'll just line it up to where I started drilling that hole and screw it in. Until this little piece doesn't move anymore. Just screw it down tight. There we go. Then I'll do the same on the opposite side. hole that I started and secure this screw into the wood frame. There we go. Tighten it, tightening it down until this little piece doesn't move anymore. There we go. So that's good and secure. Then I'll take the hanging wire and loop it through as such on both sides because I want to try and do this evenly get this wire lined up evenly and then I pull it so that I'm trying to have the same amount of wire on each side or basically the same amount there we go so I'll move one crimp down to this end and this crimp end I will thread this piece of wire through. And I didn't bring my pliers. I gotta go get my pliers. So I'm gonna get this in this little hole. Come on. My fingers aren't working too well this morning. It's cold in here. I'm thinking about turning my heat on, but I don't want to turn it on this early. It is uh, 60 degrees in Michigan. I've closed up all my windows. I've got on a jogging suit and drinking my coffee. Okay, y'all. I'm having problems seeing the hole for one. Get your butt in there. There we go. Woo! I think, yeah. Got that in there. So I'll pull it all the way to over here. Yeah, do the same thing over here. Maybe this one will be a little easier. It was. That went right in. Maybe it has some hair on it, like my dad would say. <laughs> and I'm going to leave that at that. Okay. They're not quite even, but that's good enough. Give me a minute. i got to go get my pliers to tighten those crimp ends. I'm back. So I just have some uh, needle nose pliers and I'll just take each one of these crimp ends and squeeze it down. Squeeze on it and that holds that wire in place so it's secure. It doesn't move anymore. Same on the other side. Crimp it down and it doesn't move. Then you just take your the end of the wire and wrap it around this wire. I could have tightened that a little. That's not too bad. And just wrap, wrap, wrap. And I go out so many inches, depending on the size of the canvas. And then I'll take it back the opposite way. If it's too much, then I'll just cut it off. Or 
actually come back the opposite way again. That's what I'll do this time. Instead of cutting it off, and just wrap it until you come to the end of that wire. Then I'll take my pliers and put these little pokey pieces down. I don't want anybody to stick themselves. So I'll just put that down like that. And let's do the other side. Come down a couple inches like so and then go back the opposite way. And this piece isn't that heavy. If it was heavy, I would have doubled the wire. And then I can just come back with this little piece, instead of cutting it off, come back the opposite way. And these wires are made up of about four or five real thin wires. So that's one reason it's hard to get into the crimp ends because sometimes the wires separate. And then I'll just clamp down on these little ends so that they're not sticking out or poking anybody. So there we have it. Now let me see, since I'm all done, if I can back this up, the picture that is, and show you what I have created. So, if I can put that in the camera, I have, and it's upside down, I'll turn and flip this over. I have named this piece Soft Storms, and I completed it on September 6th, and then signed it. So let's see how I can do this, so that you can see. Oh, am I going to have to step back? Yep, that ain't going to work. So I'll just lay it down. Okay. Now, what I did was divided this equally in four squares, rectangles. And I used my hot glue gun and made various shapes. I had spray painted this whole thing, first of all. I had spray painted the whole canvas because I had a different idea. I spray painted the whole canvas red. Well, then I brought it in, divided it off, and spray painted two of the rectangles black. So there was red, and then there was black. Then I put the hot glue down in various shapes on each rectangle. So I did the circles here, whatever you call these things, I did this way. I did a spiral here, and put some little swirly cues on this side. And then I did like, I don't know, fire is what I was trying to come up with. Well, I did it in the red and black and I didn't like what it was looking like. Well, no, let me, let me back up. I did it in the red and black, put the uh, hot glue down. And then I started on this, the circles here. My intent was to use gold leaf in different colors. I had gold I was gonna use, I was gonna use rose gold, silver, and red. Well, I started out with the gold leaf, the gold gold leaf, and uh, I was trying to apply it to the um, shapes here. And I'm not good with that stuff yet. It's real lightweight, it flies everywhere, and so I got a portion of it done, but specs were on, you know, the canvas. I didn't want to have to repaint. I couldn't get it up. So I ditched that idea. So then I got out metallic paints and I went inside the shapes first. So I did this one in gold, um, this one in the metallic silver, this one was in metallic uh, rose gold, and this is not, it's a metallic, it's a glitter. It's a color shift, uh, folk art color shift. So I left this one black and just put the color shift inside here. And it has hues of uh, greens and gold. Okay, then what did I do? After I did that, I painted the outsides, you know, the outs of the shape. So this is in like a, 
I don't know, I think it's a copper, I'm not sure. This was in that midnight blue metallic. And this, I just left black. I didn't do anything with this. And then this one uh, was like a metallic baby blue. So then I had the distinct lines between each one. And I wanted to not make it, I don't know what, I, I didn't like the way that they just lined up. I mean, they were straight lines and I didn't care for that. So I was going to use, I have this zipper material and I was going to use that to put down, black zipper, which would have been real neat, something different. But I didn't uh, plan for that ahead of time, so I didn't have enough space in between this glue to, to lay that down, so it didn't look right. So I found this in my stash. Where I got it from, I have no idea, I don't remember. And just laid down this uh, fox silver leather. Y'all tell me how it looks. I don't know. But that is it. That is it. Um, I just wanted to try something. I was so excited to try something on this big canvas. And I thought this would be uh, kind of neat. I don't know how I like it. Um, I don't know how I like it. It's okay, but just different. Just different. Just huge. And then I left. Oh, I did that one in copper. I left that blue. Oh, I did gold on the rim of this one. And left that black. So there you have it. Give me your thoughts. Give me your thoughts. Please and thank you. Somebody will like it. Of course I signed it. And then I just put Tracy Sweet Touch Production on the back with the name of, uh, so like I said, it's called Soft Storms because it reminds me of weather for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. So thank you. Appreciate you. Let me know what you think. Please. Please and thank you. This was kind of difficult to get on the camera. Um, I have a tripod sitting way up. That's why I'm looking up at you guys. But hit the like button, please. Uh, give me your thoughts. And uh, thank you so much to all my subscribers. New, the new ones, thank you so much. And my OGs, I really appreciate you. And I will see you next time. Peace and love. And I'm out. Oh, it's the